There are several places that you can upload files in Patrick. You can upload them using the upload monitor that you can see down here at the bottom right of the page. You can upload them within the app. We we'll could go here and upload it. Or you can upload it from within your workspace. Let's start with uploading from the workspace. So you click on the workspace tab at the top of the page and then click on home. This will give you access to your workspace where you can see all the data that you have there. This is mine. What a mess. I have used Patrick for a long time and this just shows what a cluttered person I have. And I don't want to contribute to the clutter that you see here. I want to reform myself and create a folder for reads that I want to upload. So I'm going to show you the right way. Don't follow my example. Let's create a file that we want to upload data to. So up here in this upper right corner, I'm going to click on Add Folder. This will open up a pop-up window that allows me to name the folder that I want to put the data in. And I'll just call it My Reads. So I'm going to create that folder. And you see here, there a message pops up that shows me the folder has been successfully created. Now I have to find it and my shame of how messy my workspace is can be seen by all. So once I get to my reads, I click on this icon, folder icon here, and this shows me the folder is currently empty. So I wanna upload some reads here. So I'm going to click on the upload icon in the upper right, just click there, and Current and look at this will open a pop up window and look here upload type. We want to upload reads if we well, I mean, depending upon what you want to do, but this is a precursor to assembly. So I would want to upload reads, but if you click on this down arrow, you can see all the different things that you can tag the file type with. It's important because these are the things that Patrick itself can read when it's within a different service app to try to figure out what you want to do. So I want to look for reads that I'm going to upload. So I'll click on reads and it gives me a message and it tells me that I need to find files that are structured this way. And an important message is that GenBank formatted files are not currently accepted. So it's restricting to these type of files, which are FASTQ files, FASTA files, or gzipped files, or bz2 files. So let's click on this blue Select Files button. Okay, and I actually want to go into Downloads. I have some files there. And let's click here for this file. And I can only do one at a time and click open. And I can see the file here and these are my reads files and I'll say start upload. Now this is a big file and what nothing's happening here. But if I look at the outload monitor here, it's showing me that it's starting the upload. It's important to keep track of this. It's showing me the file and what it's uploading to my Patrick workspace. And you don't want to launch any job until this thing has been 100% complete uploaded. If you launch a job prior to that, the job's going to fail. So be sure to monitor the upload. Now, if you're working remotely, you can't leave um, you wait until it's uploaded before you do anything. That's just the safest. Sometimes we have people with unstable internet connections or they close their computer in the middle of an upload. That's not gonna work very well. So while this is uploading, 
And you can see it's a big file, it's taking some time. I'm gonna leave this window open and you can see it's starting here, but it's got the size of zero. So it's gonna take a while till we see 100%. Let me go to the, within the service. So if I go into services here, and as seeing as we were gonna do assembly, let's click on that. And I, let's say you want to upload files within this service. I would need to click on this folder icon here or here if they're single reads or paired reads. Let's click on this. And I can go down and find that folder again to say I want to upload it into this specific folder, the My Reads folder. And look, it's telling me it's already uploading this one. I want to upload a new one. So I'm going to, and look, when you're within the specific service, it's going to automatically tag a file for what you want, which is reads, because the assembly service only sees reads. So I say select that file, and we were in downloads. And now I'm going to get the mate pair to it and select open here. And here's the second one. I hope that's the second one. I hope I didn't select the same one twice. And it's starting the upload. Now look, it's telling me that now it's uploading a different one. And this is currently up. See, it's starting to tick up. But you notice that the name is present here. So it's uploading it here. Now there's a third place that one can do uploads on. And let's go back to this workspace to see where we're at on this. So this one is still only at 82%. So it's still str not struggling, but these are big files and it's taking a while to upload them. And this is the R2. And then when I go over to this tab, you can see I'm uploading its paired read, and that's only at 11%. But both of them eventually will appear in the workspace. Right now we're at 90%. Now another place that you can do uploads is right here from the upload monitor. So if I click on this icon here, it'll give me a pop-up window, but it won't allow me to drill into my workspace. It's just going to put it in my home directory. And this is you know, one of the reasons why my workspace is so cluttered because I haven't gone in and cleaned it up. But it's pretty much the same thing. You click on this and it'll get into the home directory. Now let's say, I uploaded some data and I had it marked as unspecified. If it's marked as unspecified, the assembly app can't see it. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to click cancel here. And while this is uploading, because I already have this in my workspace, I don't care so much about it. I'm going to go into here to my home directory going to show you how you can change um, the tag on some data. So if I click on this folder here, I've got to move this down a bit, you can see here beyond the green bar where it says type, it's unspecified. I uploaded this, they're read files that I can see from the fast queue, but Patrick doesn't know they're read files. It's an unspecified file type. So when I'm within the app service for uh, assembly, it's not gonna be able to see it. So I need to re-tag this. See this down arrow? Click here. And it reformats the box. I'm not sure why it does that, but anyhow, it looks better here. Now click this down arrow, and let's click reads, because these are reads, and then save. Now it will be tagged as reads 
and everything's going to be okay. You can see the app service can see this. Before we sign off, let's see how this is going. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. It says here that we have 100% of the reads uploaded, but sometimes you need to, um, to refresh your page to actually see it. Sometimes it'll take a few minutes before it shows that they are the correct size and that they've uploaded correctly. Let me repeat once more, do not launch a job with these things if they have not been completely uploaded. It will only bring you sorrow and pain. So those are three ways that you can upload files into Patrick. Through the workspace, through the upload monitor, and through the app itself. Going here. Now let's go on to assembly.